Alright fellas, welcome back. It's Friday and of course I can only eat one thing. Time to delve inside the fridge and commercial craft beers, pick one out and see what we think about it. And today we have this one. It's a Rattler Grapefruit and Blood Orange Lager Shandy. I have no idea. I have no idea. I haven't ever tried a Rattler. But because of the theme of the last video that was up, because the brew day of tomorrow, which we're using grapefruit, I thought, well, let's just introduce this one to the mix. So, uh, lager shandy with grapefruit, with a hint of blood orange. They say on the website it is a craft shandy, whatever the hell that is. But we're going to see what it's like. So let's get it poured out into a glass. Let's see what we think about it. Cheers. Well, he's looking pretty happy on that little grapefruit, so, you know. Well, it smells... Actually, that doesn't smell too bad. Lager shandy. 5.2%. Sorry, 5.1%. Let's get a pour out. So, as always, I'd like to thank our channel sponsors, Beers of Europe, Dakota UK. They are the biggest online beer store in the UK and their selection is vast, covering the globe. So go and check them out. Let's get all that in there. Wow. That is, uh, that is a funky looking beverage. That's super cloudy. Super, super cloudy. Poured a lovely, lovely bright white head. Tiny little bubbles. Uh, so the appearance wise, it doesn't look filtered and look messed about with it's all pointing towards a crafted beverage crafted beer let's go and get an aroma oh wow you know what I was worried I was worried when I read this when I saw this can I was worried that it would be something that was um, unnatural smelling, unnatural tasting. We've not tasted it yet, but I can tell you the aroma is very much a natural grapefruit aroma. There is heaps of like grapefruit juice coming off of it and you are getting orange as well. As well as the nice sort of um, maltiness of the, of the lager. <laughs> well, the aroma is winning me. So let's go and get a taste, Anna. Cheers. You know what? That just tastes like if you got fruit juice, like a fruit punch Tropicana, and mixed it with a shandy. But it's very much a grown up, sort of refreshing mix between lager and fruit juice. It ain't half bad at all. If it was, if it was summer, it's meant to be bloody summer. But uh, if it was red art, baking art, and I wanted something just to really sort of quench my thirst that tasted of natural, you know, juices of the grapefruit and the blood orange and had a hint of a lager, then I'd definitely pick one of these up. I wouldn't mind having a couple in the fridge for that occasion. But apart from that, there's not a vast amount happening in it. There is definitely an element of a fruit juice sweetness that runs through it. This is probably just a, a tickle of bitterness coming off the grapefruit, but I think I'm trying to judge it as, tr trying to review it as a beer. I don't think I should be doing that. Um, it's something completely of its own making. It's uh, something completely different. So as always, I'll have a link directly to this Rattler on Beers of Europe, Dakota, UK, as well as a link to their main shop. Go and peruse their stock. It's vast. And uh, that's it, fellas. It's nearly gone, so I'm really enjoying it. I need to save some for a picture. And that's it. As always, fellas, don't forget to thumb up this video because you don't want to do. Don't forget to subscribe. There's a little red button down there to subscribe. Click it, you want to see what's coming next. Share the video, get it out of that bottle to see. Until next time, I'm out of here.